Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we are going to be rearranging my book room, my bookshelves, all that kind of stuff. If you can kind of see, it's a big mess right now. I first of all need to clean this room, but my shelves just need to be reorganized. I'm pretty happy with this shelf over here. I like keep this pretty good most of the time. This one on the other hand, there's a lot we need to do and work with. I've gotten some new books lately, so there will be like a mini haul in this video as well, but I just need to rearrange my shelves so everything is fitting better and looks better because right now it's a mess and we need to fix it because it looks so bad. So that's what we're gonna do. This is the state of my book room at the current moment. So basically, I usually have this picture hanging on this wall right here, but I actually ordered some new prints and they were supposed to be done, but I like called today. They said they don't even have the order, so now I'm confused. Hopefully I can get that figured out today because I would really love to put these three prints up here today to kind of complete this wall because I got some really cute new prints. I had to pick up some new Ikea frames too, but I've printed some prints out. So hopefully we can figure that out today and get that done. This is just a mess. I just need to clean a lot of this up. I got some new books yesterday so I can show you guys those. And then another thing happening just like in this room besides books is Jensen. She collects vinyls and these are three Taylor Swift vinyls that are signed. There's one on the floor right there as well. We're trying to figure out what to do because she held the fourth one up here and I think it looks kind of bad. Like I like the three how it is right now but obviously the fourth one would like complete it fully so I gotta figure out what to do with that. But yeah it's just a mess right now. I need to clean this up and then obviously we'll start reorganizing the bookshelves. Jensen got me these like crochet flowers which I replaced with the Lego flowers because the Lego ones they were cute but they always fell apart. I hated them so much because I would always have to pick up pieces whenever I moved this. So I really love these crochet ones. They're from Etsy if you guys are interested. Again I like this print but I've had it forever so I did order another one to replace this one with if I want to. So we'll see if my prints get done so I can kind of bring this room all together. All my animals are in here right now because Jensen's at the store and so they're just they've infiltrated this room and that's okay but this is just the current state it's a complete mess and I need to first and foremost pick it up so we can kind of start the process but that's what today's video is gonna be about so I hope you guys enjoy rearranging this room with me and kind of putting it back together to make it look a little bit nicer but that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna clean this room and then I'll do my little book haul for you guys I have most of the clutter stuff off of this bed. So I'm gonna do a little mini Barnes haul because I went to Barnes yesterday and I got a few new books. So I wanna show you guys what I got. Kobe has also decided to join us. So if you hear him sniffing, that's what it is. The first book I picked up, this was honestly like a last minute grab and I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it because I haven't heard the best things about it, but I really do love Freedom of Fadden. So I decided to pick it up. It's called The Teacher. I think this is her, this is her latest release. I'm pretty sure. I haven't heard the best things about it, but I always love thrillers to like break up my romance and fantasy reads. So I decided to pick it up because I do really love her and I want to try it out. So we will see how this ends up being, but I did pick this one up. Then I picked up Girl Abroad by Elle Kennedy. I love Elle Kennedy. I love her so much, but I saw this Barnes exclusive version of Girl Abroad, which I don't even have Girl Abroad, but this cover is pink and it's so cute. So I literally had to get it. I'm very excited to read this. Honestly, the cover really drew me to it. So I got this one. The next one I picked up is Cleopatra and Frankenstein. And I've seen this absolutely everywhere. I always see super aesthetic pictures with this book in it. And so I decided to pick it up. It's a fiction book. I want to broaden my horizons. So I decided to pick this one up, but it's honestly, again, like one I picked up because of the cover. So we'll see if I like it at all. The next one I picked up is Hopeless by Elsie Silver. I just wanted to complete my collection. I have both series, like both covers over here, but I didn't have the last one of this like cover. So I had to obviously grab Hopeless and I still have yet to read Hopeless. It's sitting on my TBR. I've had it there forever, but it's like the last one obviously in the series and I still haven't read it. So I need to read it, but I really wanted to get this cover as well. And this was the last one I needed to complete it. So I picked this up. And then the book I actually went to Barnes for that I wanted to get in the first place was Bride by Ali Hazelwood. This I didn't even know is a fantasy. I'm pretty sure, which I had no idea. Oh, in the back is so 
super bent i just realized i don't know if i did that or if it was like that but that's kind of unfortunate i picked up ride by ali hazelwood because i've seen a lot about it and i heard it's good i want to read this it's a paranormal romance so i'm excited to read this kind of try something new by ali hazelwood because i love her writing but this will be fun because it's obviously different these are the books i picked up at barnes yesterday and i wanted to just do a mini haul but let's get to my bookshelves now that's what i've been dreading because they're actually not too bad, so they shouldn't take us too long, hopefully. But let's start on the bookshelves. This stack is all the books I've read recently, so I need to put these back on the shelves. I'm gonna have to find space for them, so that'll be fun. And then these are obviously all the new ones that I have, so these are most likely gonna go on my TBR cart. I think I'm just gonna start with this bookshelf because it's honestly pretty to my liking. There's like a couple random things I need to fix on it. I need to add some books back into it. So we'll do this one first, but this is like the before of it, and and then let's see how I change it. So I ended up switching out a candle that I had here with this little pink basket that Jensen got me again for Valentine's Day, but it's so cute and I just like the way it looks. I ended up putting like extra AirPod Max covers in there and then some bookmarks. I don't know if it'll stay like that, but I think it looks cute for now. So we'll see if that ends up like that. For the most part, this bookshelf is pretty good. I just added a couple books in that I've read already that needed to be added back into here. But overall, I just like love this shelf. Definitely my favorite shelf out of all of them. The goal is to to like like the other ones as much as i like this one i love these three vinyls right here i think they're so cute and they just look really good with the bookshelf but now let's go to that one which is going to be a lot harder this is the current state of this bookshelf it's a mess right now i just don't know what to do with it to be completely honest i have a lot of series on here and then a lot of just other random books so i kind of got to figure out how to organize this a little bit better you're just going to kind of see me work because i'm not exactly sure what we're going to do here so let's just get started bookshelf it's not going that well i don't know how it's gonna turn out but jensen was at the store and she came home with the last throw a glass book that i need to complete the series so we're gonna add this to the shelf i'm so thankful i did not know she was gonna do this so now i had the full series and so i can add this one to the shelf which is great timing but i really just don't know what to do with the shelf i never know how to style it i know a lot of people love to like shove their bookshelves super full but i just don't like to do that personally i like styling it and like putting the little trinkets i have on the bookshelf to make it look a little bit better Better. I just that's just what I like doing it sometimes it's hard to like get it the way you want so that's what we're working on right now we'll see how it ends up but I'm gonna add this to the shelf One shelf that I do pack full because it's like my only thriller shelf and I have a lot of thrillers and no space so I do have to pack it full so we're just kind of gonna shove the rest of the books that I need in this bookshelf. TikTok recently like cut ribbon and put it on their TBR cart and I thought it was so cute so that's what we're gonna do right now. I have a few different kinds of ribbon so I'm gonna see which one I like better but then I'll show you guys the final product. This is what it ended up looking like. I added two different kinds of ribbon because I just didn't know which one to go with. I like them both so I did it on both sides but I think it turned out so cute. I don't know if I'll have it up forever but for now I think it's cute and I'll probably keep it there. That's how the book cart turned out. I feel like I finished the shelves. Obviously these 
these will like always change but I like the way they turned out but I'm going to show you guys what I came up with so I ended up putting that other Taylor Swift vinyl up there I'm not sure if Jensen will love that so we'll have to see but for now that's where it is and then this shelf is just always a work in progress but I do like the way it turned out so far so this is this shelf it's really cute I have a lot of series on it so that's kind of what we're working with I have this little TBR jar right here I got a new one and it's so cute it's just from Hobby Lobby but I tied a little bow around it and then I put my Harry Potter books right there I think they look so cute and then these are more like random books that I have this is this shelf and I really like the way it turned out and then we have this area which didn't change a whole lot but I just added other thriller books that I needed to put away again there are some other random books in here as well just because I have nowhere to put them so they're kind of stashed on this bookshelf but this one's always just gonna be so dark because it is mainly thrillers so that's what that looks like then we move on to the tbr cart which you guys kind of just saw but i think it turned out really cute and i love the little bows on it for now so that's the tbr cart for now and then my favorite shelf forever and always will be this one it's mostly romance and then lgbtq plus books are all on here so i love the way this turned out and then i put obviously like the little bookmarks down there this is my last bookshelf for now and then i have three prints i'm gonna hang up here but they said they'll be done by like six tonight so i'm hoping i'll add a clip at the end of this so you guys can see the hung up prints because they're so cute and i'm so excited to show you guys what they look like but here are the bookshelves okay it's really late now but we just finished hanging these prints because i got them super late they didn't get done till like six o'clock but i thought i would just show you guys them really quick even though the lighting is so bad because it's dark outside but these are the prints i have little bows we also have to cover up holes that we made but that's okay these little bows they're all from etsy like different shops that i found this one says c bus admit one because i live in columbus so i thought it was really cute and then the cherries that have the bow on them so i have those three over here <laughs> again there's kind of a glare over my book cart i turned the light off so there's not as much of a glare but i did this little diet coke one because i'm obsessed with diet coke it's really bad but i thought it was a cute print and then i did get one other print that i might change out for this one eventually because i'm not sure if i absolutely love this one right there it's really dark right now so it's hard to see but i think they look cute and then in the natural light it will look so much better that's the completed book room for now okay now this video was kind of all over the place but i hope you guys enjoyed me kind of switching up my bookshelves and changing them up i always love to do this so i thought i might as well show you guys kind of the process while i do it but i hope you guys like how it turned out let me know which shelf is your favorite thank you guys so much for watching this week's video i love you so so much and i'll see you in my next one Bye.